Hello beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. This is about Papa Kuma's kitchen and you know what is popping today. We are making a delicious oven grill tilapia. Ah, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do and drop some comments and some like and don't forget to share this video to your lovely ones and your family. So you can have this with some banku, some, I mean, some geba and or whatever is your choice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel and join the Obapa Frankumis family. All right, family. So this is my ingredients for my oven grill tilapia recipe. So I've got my tilapia, which is partly clean with some lemon. I've got one green and bell pepper, three green scotch bonnet chili or fresh pepper, some onion. I've got some spring onion, garlic, ginger, one tablet shrimp cube powder, and some fish spices. I've got some sunflower oil right there and some salt to taste. All right, family. Let's get started. All right, family, so I'm just going to go ahead to prepare my fish or my tilapia and get it ready for my sauce. So I have washed this with um, some lemon. I just prefer washing this with some vinegar or some salt, which basically helps it to clean it nicely and also to take away every smell, strong smell from the fish. So I'm making some lines or some cuts on my fish, which bas this basically, I mean, helps my fish to absorb every bit of my sauce. And then, I mean, um, it helps it um, sharing your fish with your family as well very easily when breaking it as well so you can choose to make your lines however you want it but this is how I make my lines on my fish and it's really perfect and beautiful so once this is ready I'm just going to set this aside and then I'm going to start making my sauce for my tilapia fish Right, I'm just going to cut all my vegetables, my onion, my scotch bonnet or fresh pepper my i'm just going to use um a half um of my bell pepper because um i'm just using two fish and obviously it's going to be a lot of sauce so i'm just going to use half of my bell pepper um i mean to blend um my uh, my sauce so um i'm going to add my garlic ginger my spices and i'm going to use um sunflower um cooking oil to blend my sauce because um i want it very tasty and i don't want it very watery as well so once everything is gone in i'm just going to blend this once this is blend just look at that that green beautiful color i'm just going to put um some of the sauce on my fish and i'm going to use my hands so i'm doing, going to make sure my hands is really clean before i do this so if you're using your hands as me try and make sure you 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 wash your hands and i'm setting some aside because as i said it's quite a lot you can use this for your um your tomato sauce or something later on because that's a beautiful spice so make sure you marinate this very nicely but i'll be using um, a pastry cooking brush to make sure uh, i marinate this into my lines um and every bit of i mean the fish i want it to go every corner of my fish so make sure if you don't have a brush just make sure you wash you wash your hands very beautifully before i mean touching your fish and i mean putting it in the corners and every bit of your fish this is looking beautiful at the moment. I like colors and the green colors on this fish. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's really beautiful. So once this is done, I will be covering it with um, some cling film because I'm making it um, um, a day. I'm just going to set this aside for like an hour. And then once this is there, I'm just going to grease with some oil. This helps it um, your fish not to get stuck on the on the on the rug so once after once this is ready after an hour i'm just gonna put this on top of my grill grid my rig grill sorry and then um get it ready for my oven and this can take about an hour to cook so um i'll put this in my oven and then um the first 30 minutes i'll take it out to I mean check on it and turn it over and then put it back in. So this is how our, our tilapia is looking right now. So beautiful. All 
right family so i've got some lovely vegetables um of bell pepper different colors here and some muggy seasoning here once my um tilapia is in the oven i'm just quickly going to do um, some veggies that will go with my um, my tilapia as well so just cut your onions um very nicely you can cut them any shape that you want and also um cut your your red bell peppers and then i mean you can choose to cut it any shape that you want but i am um, i mean cutting them squarely today so you can choose to cut them however you want them to be like this is a very really really sweet i mean um veggies that goes with your tilapia and it takes your tilapia to the next level this is really sweet and beautiful all right so just look at that beautiful those beautiful red gold green colors they are so beautiful so i'm just going to start to i mean i'm um, saute this um veggies i'm using the fried light mm -hmm. um um cooking oil if you don't have this you can use just a little bit of um, sunflower cooking oil or whatever cooking oil that you've got so i'm going to put all my um veggies into my saucepan right now and then stir it this is not going to take long at all. This just about three, it's going to take about three minutes to do this. So guys, please don't leave this onto, um, on the cooker for a long time for it to be soggy. We need to make sure we are maintaining our nutrients in this veggies. So um, just be careful. So I've just added my muggy seasoning onto this, just a tiny bit and just get, look at that beautiful, very, very beautiful. The colors, I love colors so much and this colors i mean makes me go crazy so this sauce will take your tilapia to the next level it is looking so beautiful so at this point i will be also adding some of my spices just a tiny bit just to make it a bit i mean and um, peppery i like pepper so much so if you don't like it you can take it out I mean take it all out of the recipe so I just added a little bit and then I'm just giving it just about one minute and I'll take this off from my cooker because I want my veggies to be very crunchy and tasty so that is it that is how it's all right beautiful family so this is how our tilapia is looking um from for the first 30 minutes i just took this from the oven um i'm just dabbing some cooking oil some flour cooking oil on top of it so i'll be turning this um um aside as, as well um so i've just turned it over i'm just going to dab some more sauce at the back make sure you put every bit of this sauce in the corners in the lines to make sure this fish absorb every bit of of your of your sauce so after this i'm going to put it back in the oven and leave it for another 30 minutes for it to be done this is looking so amazing family you can share this recipe with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on my cooking and be part of the afrakumas family okay lovely family so our oven grilled tilapia is ready to dig in this is looking so beautiful and delicious i hope you've got all your bunkers ready to dig in into this and you are ready to try this recipe as well please please don't forget to subscribe share like this videos and drop in some comments for me thank you so much for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.